welcome back to my channel my name is kate van leuven and in today's video we have another journaling video you guys seem to really like journal flip throughs so i've pulled out my other journal and we're gonna look through it today so this is my first completed journal and my only completed journal a little, a little thick and this is how I fell in love with journaling. So this one is a little bit of a journey because you kind of see how my journaling progressed. I have this band on it from Walmart. It just came in this little set thing. Surprisingly, these things are so hard to find. Like just a plain one. One without a pen holder, even though this one has a pen holder, but it's small, okay? Let's open this thing up. So first of all, the outside, I put stickers. Um, I put some puffy stickers. I mean, they're fine. This journal is surprisingly the only one I've been able to stick with. It is from Target. And this is what it looks like. So you open the journal, start with this. It just comes in the journal. Didn't write anything on it. I always leave a blank page because I just, I can't write on the first page. I just can't do it. So like this started out as just a normal notebook for me, um, even though I did keep this napkin, which was a great start to my journaling. But this was like a napkin I doodled on during my sister's college orientation. This was just like a packing list and stuff. Okay, we're just going to try to cover most of this. But then I tried journaling and I kind of did a lot. And then it kind of went back to what it was before, just a normal notebook. But I did include like this recipe from a club meeting at school and like this was on a separate piece of paper. So it was already different than my normal notebooks. It was kind of more collaged together with different little things. Even though I think I put this in a little later. Like same thing as before, just a normal journal for me, but with some extra decorations and stuff. This was all like planning for a trip. So then this is where I started doing like another actual journaling spread. So this was when I went to see Tyler the Crater. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to cover this up. I mean, um, it's fine if you see some of it, but this was just like the next, I think it was the next day, yeah. This is the next day after and I just did it again. I printed out these photos from Walgreens and I had just a little journaling sesh that day and it continued on to this page. This is just a business card from like where I got coffee. Oh, this was a little haul of what I got at Dollar Tree. So this stationery, this and this washi tape is from Dollar Tree. So then I took a bit of a break and I ended up doing this little update. Here's just another random day that I journaled. And then we have my birthday. I still really love this spread. And it goes on. I even included a little fortune and I included business cards. So for my birthday, I got to go to New York and these were some of the places I went. Oh shoot, this falls off. And I also kept my Metro card. So this is a little more of a personal page, but I think I'm going to keep it in just so you can see all the design elements because if I do cover up some words, you're going to miss a lot. Yeah. But I did include this, which I wrote something and I put it in an envelope and taped it on just to like add some pizzazz to this. And then also it makes it really intense because it's like just kind of um a note of like where my mental state was at so i can look back on that and kind of see my progress i still haven't opened it up that's kind of the beauty of putting things in envelopes in your journal is that you don't like necessarily like open it up because i like taped it so it's like harder to read and look at so one day i'm just gonna open that up and we'll see what it says so this is a calen a little calendar thing i got it from paper gang in this journal i had paper gang for three months so you'll see a couple more of these calendars they're always so pretty this one's in pencil so i need to be careful of not smudging it october 20th so on this one i included more stickers and papers and stuff and just more design elements i really don't know how to cover this i'm still 
show everything I want to show. I have like a homework list over here and I included a lot of stickers and stuff in this one. So this is from more for my birthday. This is when I went to my grandparents house and I got my milk frother and I included like the instruction thing here. This one right here was an update on the personal thing I showed before. And that continued on to the next page. We have this long day, and it continues on here. One thing about this journal is I noticed I wrote a lot more. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I want to go back to a regularly bound book. I guess I just write more. Um, this is just a to-do list. Here to, I taped in a receipt. I love doing that. I really like how this turned out. Same with this one, but this covers it, sadly. And this unfolds and stuff here we have oh shoot she was a long one we went off on this day these are extremely personal not extremely but pretty personal so these are really personal <laughs> but this one i did talk about what this song means to me so that's a cool spread idea just going into depth in this you know one song that you like why you like it and like kind of what it means to you also personal <laughs> so i went to a conference this was like a pack packing list and stuff and here's another one of these monthly things and one thing i did want to point out about this notebook that i did like was that you can circle the date so it helped me always include the date so this was of a dream i just talked about what my dream was and it was a good dream <laughs> obviously this was for youtube so then this was just a date december 18th i this always bothers me because i really liked how this title turned out but then the 18th smear this i was trying to plan winter break i just it didn't work i just really never finished that here i talked about a conference that i went to yeah that was a continuation just a different day this is one of my favorite spreads this is how music affects me i really like how i did the top yeah so this is how music affects me. And then this, these are all song quotes. Like some of my favorite lyrics. I could have gone on, but I did not. This one is also kind of another fail bread. I was trying to do one about like cleaning my room and like getting my room together. This one, another fun spread. This one is about my style, and I don't know, this one was just really fun. This one is, well, this was a movie, and then my friend, and my friend gave me a letter. I taped in the envelope, and then I taped in the card on a separate page. So it does open up, and I'm not going to show her the letter. So this one was a little haul. This was a Michaels haul, and then this was my advent calendar stamps. I included this. It was just like something that randomly gave me inspiration. So I printed out a picture of it. Um, and then this, I called it Kate's Holiday Special. I just talked about the holidays. And then this was my little Christmas haul. I love the packaging of these. And it goes on. This was my after Christmas shopping. I just thought this was so cute. I don't know why I put a little tab thing on this. Um, those are just future goals. Paper gang box, so exciting. New Year's resolutions. Let's try to cover this. Just another day, I got these really cool cards from a hockey game and I wrote something about like the game underneath both of them, I think. Well, I'm gonna cover all this right now. So this is just another day. I like how this is all monochrome. This one's hard to cover, but I did it in the middle and I really like that look of putting the title in the center and doing everything around it. These are just some thoughts. And then this is a little letter or a little note to my 26 year old self um, because that's how old I will be at the beginning of the next decade. Um, so here I kind of reflected on quotes from other people. It was something some people said, and then I kind of just did my own reflection on it. 
this was just a funny story time <laughs> this was going into the new decade this was my first of the decade i don't know this was something my sister mentioned I was like, okay, I'll do a little journal spread about it. It was my first everything. I didn't put in the song. I was debating which song I would listen to first. And then I just ended up never putting in a song. Also, this sticker was perfect. Here is my dream tiny house. I have another one of these in my new journal. And I didn't even realize it. Like when I made the one in my new journal, I was just wanting to design the layout of my dream tiny house. But this one, I remember this. I found this tiny house i found this tiny house tour and i was like oh my god this is the perfect tiny house not necessarily the exterior just the layout this one has a picture on the back so it literally had a patio on the roof okay here was presents from christine she got me stuff from daiso and i flipped out so i had to do a spread this was my new year post and this was a receipt i'm getting boba because i love boba procrastination manifestation i kind of just did spreads on both of these concepts and ideas tried to journal on the go this was fun qualities of someone i want i saw this in like a youtube video it was talking about manifestation and like literally just writing out exactly what you want out of a person then i talked about productivity and ikigai because i was reading this book Here is my 2020 mini vision board. I do have a video on where I made this. Things I want to do. Happy thing. I include this just to be positive, but I got four paychecks that day and it was exciting. Which I have not gotten a paycheck since. I mean, I guess now we have excuses because we're in a pandemic, but still. Channel revamp, you know? Positive day. Always straight to record. Oh shoot, this went on. Which, okay, this one is actually really funny because I said it was a positive day. It was not a positive day. I don't know why I said that. Like, if you read back through it, it's just like me having a mental breakdown and stuff. Like, it goes on. I don't know why I called that. Oh, feeling stressed. Great. <laughs> this is where it really spirals and goes downhill. Where you have a little haul. Yep, the stress continues, overwhelms, then a mental health day. Just see how it all goes together. Upcoming travel, didn't go there, that got cancelled, that I think is gonna get cancelled. Yeah. This was a little weak thing. This was also, like, this day did not go well either. This is on my channel too. And I added this to show, like, kind of what my setup was. And pictures just really help you remember things. Wednesday, I like this spread. Here's a picture of my friend, Scott Bobo. This is what we were like writing on. We are like doodling and lettering and stuff, so I put that in. Friday, there's my dog and he's in a sweater and I thought it was really cute. I went to see a movie with my friend and it was, it's called Weathering With You. It's a Japanese film. It's an animation and it was in theaters, in like a special release, I guess. And they gave us posters, so. There was my little review. Here I have this meme and I just kind of journaled around the meme, like talking kind of talking about it it was kind of just like me talking about where i was and then this just really went well i'll read it therapist what's going on in your head right now me my mind is like an internet browser 17 tabs are open four of them are frozen so yeah <laughs> Here we have a fun spread. This was from the airport. I really like how I did this where like all the pictures were at the bottom. Um, receipt and pictures. And this is from a napkin. Sunday, Monday goals. This was just me trying to be productive and like plan things. A little picture, my favorite place in the world. Here are pictures from my favorite place in the world. A little week planning, picture of my cats. Oh, this was me finally unpacking some Christmas stuff. In the future, we love dreaming and planning ahead. So, well, this one's fun. Life is a mess right now. And then I talked about eating, showering, and sleeping. 
so much fun. Here's from Tuesday. This makes me so happy. This is when Aki gave me stuff from Japan. I love Aki so much. Here we had another study plan because after I did the other one, I realized that it can really help me. So I did that. Here I put my Starbucks drink thing on it. January 22nd. And then this was the last page. And that is my first completed journal. This took me about i don't know maybe three months i would say three full months because originally i wasn't doing it consistently technically i started this journal at the end of september but i did one spread at the end of september and then i did one sometime in october and then it slowly got more consistent until i was doing it every day so this is it oh my god this is how I fell in love with journaling. Also, if you're wondering, this is an A6 size. I've decided that that is my ideal size. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in my next video.